guys, welcome back to another video of Fujiwara Bittersweet. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but that is perfectly fine. Perfectly a-okay. And you know what? Today, I have coffee. Some delicious, yummy coffee in my Assassin's Creed mug. Anyways, we're gonna go... load up here the next day after classes <coughs> oh my voice is not mm. finally it's the last bell i glance at ichigo as expected she stands up and rushes over to me hey yeah hoy the club the club yes yes i know just give me time to too slow see ya did she just leave me oh my god grabbing suzuki's arm she dashes out of the room at the speed of light what Suzuki is quickly dragged out. Hey, wait! <laughs> She's rather fast. Why are you always... Why do you always appear out of nowhere like that? Are you a ninja or something? Jeez. He stares at me with a surprised look on his face. Oh, oops. I spoke without thinking. Maybe I was too direct? But his lips quickly form an amused smile. That took me by surprise. I think this is the first time that... You've talked to me in such a relaxed manner. Mm, sorry. Oh no, please don't feel bad. This is perfectly fine with me. It would be my pleasure if you would just talk to me casually. Says the guy who's overly polite to everyone. He doesn't reply to my remark, but still has a smile on his face. Shall we go? The others are probably waiting for us. When we arrive to the club room, Suzuki, Ichigo, and the other upperclassmen are sitting in a circle around the are sitting around in a circle on the floor. English. Sketchbooks in front of them. Wow, finally! I'm really sorry we took our time. Sorry. It's okay, come on and sit down. We're about to start. Asahi hands us some sketchbooks with a smile. So today we'll be evaluating your drawing skills. But not only that, we'll also be finding out your strengths in other areas as well. For now, everyone please draw us your ideal protagonist. Uh, it's so sudden, I don't know how to begin. We don't have more instructions than just that. Sorry, but can we have a bit more details about what to draw? Mm-hmm, you need more context? Yes, please. Then how about drawing a teenage girl in a fantasy setting? You can decide her appearance however you like, but she needs to wear fantasy clothes. Is that okay with everyone? Fine with me. Got it. Okay. I'll try my best. Uh, a teenage girl in fantasy clothes? I realized that I don't have enough da data in my brain to draw something decent. You know what? Okay, I need a drink of coffee. I am recording this the moment I woke up. Like, I woke up, jumped out of bed, and was like, mm, yes. Anyways, some more coffee. But I 
fantasy, like a teenage girl in fantasy settings, like fantasy clothes, all that I can think of is either like the medieval style, like dresses for peasant, like peasant dresses, and then like fairy clothes. That's like all I can imagine. I realized that I don't have enough data. Oh, I already read that. Come on, Aya, try hard and visualize things. Come on. Are you okay, Kobayashi? Um, I can't draw anything. I see. Please wait a moment. He scribbles something on a little piece of paper, then hands it to me. When you face difficulties for any reason, sometimes it's better to lay your thoughts out on paper. I wrote a small list of several elements related to a fantasy world setting. I hope this will help you. Thank you. Also, our society is full of inspiration and entertaining things. Books, games, advertising. I'm sure that you already know a lot of images or descriptions related to a fictional world with magic or fantasy in it. You just have to figure out what you've seen and try to draw something. Don't worry, I'm sure you can do it. This guy's too nice and reliable. I see, thank you. After some time, everyone puts down their sketchbooks. I'm not confident in my drawing at all, but I have no choice, and I have no choice, I have to show my work too. As I glance to the side, I sigh in relief. I'm not the only one with horrible drawing skills. Wow, Hachan, what is that? An angry snowman? It's a mermaid. Are you kidding me? Hachan, you are so bad at this. Oh yeah, show me yours. Now, now, let's see what we have here. Well, you the fourth. Your drawing skills aren't that bad at all. Your ideas come through clearly, but you have some problems with getting the ana anatomy right. On the other hand, I'm impressed with all the details that you can actually draw. We can clearly see that your character probably has an interesting background just by looking at what she's wearing. Thank you. It's true that I couldn't help but think about what kind of life she has while drawing her. To tell you the truth, I already have her whole backstory in mind. You see, she wasn't just destined to be a royal mage at first. She had a rather complicated life before getting where, sh where to she is right now, and... He probably cuts himself off. Ah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk so much. I'm taking up our precious time. Sorry, I was getting carried away. Thank you for your review. Please continue. Ah, Yura. Don't worry, it's okay. Don't hesitate to talk about it anytime. Then Asahi turns to Ichigo. I'm impressed with his skills. You have gaps in anatomy too. But like Yura, you have quite the imagination for clothes. And you mastered shadows and lighting really well. You even drew variations of the costume. This is awesome. You make me blush. Aw, that's so cute. No, really, your skills aren't half bad. I can't wait to see your progress. Next is Suzuki. Forget it, I don't want to show mine after all. Aw, come on, we need to see your old skills. After some grunting, she finally shows us her drawing. Oh, say something already. Sorry, well, your dragon is not that bad, but it's a mermaid. Yes, mermaid, sorry. Jeez, I knew it. I shouldn't have shown you my drawing. Well, at least you we have established that you're really bad at this and that thinking about mastering art is hopeless for you this year, so cheer up. Hazuki, don't put it like that. Oh, it's Suzuki. Don't take it the wrong way, but with your current skills, I'm not sure you'll be able to draw in the project we have to present this year. Ah, wow, you hold that hat on, good luck. Well, thank you, I was able to figure that out without your help. Uh, she's angry. Uh-oh. Uh, sorry. Oh, but if it helps, Aya is the worst here. She seems to be even more hopeless than you. I really want to cry blood because this is so awful. Hey! Don't... This is my drawing, Okay. I drink my coffee in disgust of you. Hey, that was brutal. You're savage. Huh? What did he just... Did he laugh? All eyes turn to him with surprise. Uh, sorry, I just sneezed. Looks like I caught a cold. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. For a moment, I thought you laughed at us. Oh my, of course not. It would be really rude of me to laugh at you. Yeah, it was just a sneeze after all. Right? I don't think so, man. Anyway, it seems that Yuri and Yuta and Hichiko can very likely make some remarkable improvements with some serious training. On the other hand, well, Suzuki and Aya? But wait, I have an idea. Guys, just tell us any of your talents and qualities. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know about walking solo, but I think I could be a good assistant. Doing stuff like inking or something like that? Oh, that's good to know. A second assistant would be really helpful. What about you, Yuta? It's rather difficult to evaluate our own qualities. I'm afraid that I can't really tell you what mine are. However, my mother often tells me that I have quite the imagination for stories. I'm not able to confirm if it's true, though. Interesting. Aya? I really can't think of anything. I don't have any talent or passion whatsoever. I feel so useless right now. I... I don't know. I don't have any qualities or anything like that. Oh, come on. That's not true. You're stubborn. I think it'd be a good quality. You're pretty serious about homework and studies, and you seem to be a well-organized person. That is... that is very funny, guys. And you're kind of open-minded, right? And sociable? In an awkward way sometimes, but still. Wow, even Suzuki is trying to help me. I think you can call me Haru now. What? For real? Yes, so don't make a fuss about it, or I'll change my mind. Yep, okay, sorry Haru. Stop it already. Can we call you Haru too? Sure. What about you then? Games? What? I can make simple video games. I'm a programmer after all. What? You never told me that either. Again, you didn't ask. Being able to code games is so cool. Wait, wait, wait. This is awesome. Say, Haru, what do you think you'd be able to make in five months? A small visual novel with a bit of puzzle game inside, I guess. I think a small platformer would be possible too. You're asking me because you have something in mind, right? The real question is, will you be able to make all the graphics and other resources of a good enough quality in time? No worries, we could totally handle that. I still feel useless though. Uh, guys, I feel dumb. What? What did I say? I didn't even see that. <laughs> I wasn't looking at my screen. I was looking at my coffee like, mm, I really want to drink that right now. And I drink some coffee. Mm -hmm. Say, I don't think I'll be able to help you guys. I am really useless. It's fine. We'll figure something out. Yeah, he's right. But I really don't know how, to, how I can help. Don't worry about it, it'll be fine, really. But I don't... just try. For a second I thought that I saw his face darken, but he immediately displayed the nice and comforting smile again. I see that. Was it just my imagination or a trick of the light? We're here to figure it out with you, so don't worry, alright? That was a rhyme! Utah! Yes, thank you. And don't forget what we just said. You already have several good qualities. Remember that skills and hobbies come from practice and knowledge. You might not be able to catch up with us in terms of art, but this isn't an art club. If you keep learning and sticking around with us, I'm sure you'll have plenty of fun here and maybe even figure out what you want to do. That wasn't really comforting. I almost ran out of breath in that sentence. Hold up. <sighs> we then start talking more in detail about this project. I didn't even know what a visual novel was before this, but it seems so fun. So it's decided it's a game, a visual novel. I'm kind of excited about being the one getting involved in the creation, but not being the one playing for once. A visual novel is fine with me. I'd be happy to help you in this project too. Sounds cool for me as well, Hazuki. Yep, let's do this then. Aww. We're making a visual novel and a visual novel. Oh my god. We start off really enthusiastic, but we quickly discover that things aren't as simple when we're trying to decide who's in charge of what. There are so many random ideas we come up with, but can't agree on. Everything is kind of all over the place. Uh, so we don't really know how to proceed after all. It's weird, why does this sound more complicated than last year's project? It's more or less the same thing, so why? Well, I think that's because we were only two or three last year. Now that we have more members, the planning and management of tasks aren't exactly the same, so I don't really know how to make this work. Don't worry, I'm sure we will be able to find a solution tomorrow, after a good night's rest. Yeah, you're right. So, time to go home then? Yes, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. I wonder how we can proceed. Maybe I'll try thinking about it more to find a solution once I'm home. Aww. The next day, after class, time to go to the club. Say, Aya, I was wondering all day today, but you have rather heavy dark circles under your eyes. You alright? 
Oh, really? I'm a bit tired. I went to bed late last yesterday. Maybe you should go home and rest. No, it's okay. I'm fine. Don't push yourself too much, all right? Don't put up with her carelessness. If she gets sick like this, it's, it will be her own fault. Cold as usual, even when we're the first name basis. Aww. The music's gone, so it's like spooky. Once we get to the club, we find Hazuki and Asahi slumped on the table. Well, it's just Asahi who's resting his head on the table while Hazuki is, in fact, laying on the floor facing the ceiling with his eyes closed like he's sleeping. What happened? Are you alright? I'm beat. It was supposed to be just a few hours, but I spent all night at this guy's house. It was a long night. Yeah, go easy on me next time. My muscles hurt. Sorry. <gasps> Can we have more details, please? Stop that. We were researching what to do and how to start the project all night. Aww. She was so excited. She was like, oh, oh. Asahi stands up and looks at him apologetically. It's my fault. At first, I wanted to, it to be just a few hours of research, but for each question answered, there were five more new questions. And since I was thinking it would be easier for, with both of us on the task, we both ended up staying at my place. It's okay, dude. It was just more exhausting than I thought. Hazuki stands up as well, turns to us, and can't help but open his eyes wide while looking at me. Whoa, what about you, Aya? Have you seen your face? <laughs> That's, let just say you weren't the only ones researching last night. I clear my throat before handing them the documents I prepare. I also spend most of the night preparing something for you, I mean, for us. It's kind of a report with all my thoughts on what we said yesterday. I try to organize them by topic with headings for it to be easier to track. I also list out each of your strengths, I know we have already established them, but somehow, I thought things would seem clearer when laid out on paper. I paused, remembering the advice of a certain someone yesterday. Then there were, uh, then there are a few sections especially dedicated to anime conventions, in which there are noteworthy experiences from game developers on how to manage a project from start to finish, what obstacles we might face, and so on. Also, this. I hand them another sheet, one for each of them. I thought maybe it would be a good idea to create a sort of challenge for each of you. Nothing too big, just a small experiment to see if you can actually work under a deadline. For example, Tachi, I mean Yuta. You said that people think that you have imagination for stories, right? So I thought that you could try to write something one week. Hazuki Asahi, try to draw as many sketches as you can about whatever. It could be people, objects, buildings, anything. Then Ichigo will polish them, she'll have one week too. How do you... I trail off in the middle of my rambling when I notice that they're all staring at me with their eyes wide. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to order you around or anything. No, it's okay, it's just... Aya, you're awesome! Huh? This is so detailed, it's really impressive. Not bad. Aya, do it! What? We are project leader. What? No! Why not? You're so well organized, unlike the rest of us. But it's a huge responsibility. And you seem well, really well suited for it. I think you'd make a great project leader. I... Hazuki, enough. Don't force her. No, no, it's okay, but... I'm okay with the job since it seems this is the la least I can do for this club. But are you sure? What if I fail? Well, if I'm being honest, I'd like you to lead us as well. But in the end, it's entirely up to you if you want to take on the role or not. Don't feel pressured to do it. Okay, I see. Leave it to me, then. I promise I'll try to leave the project as best as I can. Yeah, that's the spirit. So our adventure is really starting now, huh? I can't wait to see what we'll be able to create. I hope I can live up to their expectations. Hey, I was wondering, how about our first big outing next week, since it'll be a holiday? For Golden Week? Sounds good. Why not? We should create a group chat for the club. It would be more convenient. A uh, group chat? What's that? You... Hold on, hold on. I need some coffee. Hmm. You seriously don't know what it is? Well, I think I've already heard it mentioned on TV and the internet, but I don't really know how it works exactly. Do you live under a rock or something? Show me your phone. Well, it's true I don't really care for text. Still, I feel a bit embarrassed handing over my phone. Wow, I haven't seen a phone like this in ages. 
It's the same model as my grandma's. You obviously can't have a chat app on that thing. It'd be ideal for you to buy a new phone, Aya. Yeah? What? But it's rather expensive, right? Now you can get a really nice smartphones for cheap nowadays. I see. Then Ichigo, can you come with me after this to help me get a new phone? No can do. I already have something to do with Hachan today. We have? Yes. Sounds suspicious. Maybe Ichigo just doesn't want to go with me. Well, I guess it can't be helped. It was on short notice, and maybe she really has something to do. Hazuki and I can't come with you either. Yeah, sorry. We can't help it. Sorry for asking so suddenly. Well, I'm free today after club acti activities, if you don't mind. I can accompany you in your search for a new phone. May I? I gasped a bit in surprise. I didn't expect him to offer his help. Y yes, if it's, a if it's okay with you, it's okay with me too. Then it would be a pleasure for me to help you. A few minutes later. Oh. Uh, Aya, sorry, but can you wait for me at the school entrance? I have something to do in the teacher's room. I'll be there right after. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Sorry. See you. Aww. I started walking toward the courtyard with Ichigo and Haru. So, what is this thing we have to do? Nothing. What? I just wanted Aya to be alone with Prince Yuta. What? Uh, so that was your plan. But why? Come on, you. Doesn't it excite you to be this kind of situation? Think about all those girls who would kill to be in your shoes right now. That's not it. I don't really like it when you plot things like that. No, no, no. The words you're searching for are thank you. Ichigo, you really should stop doing whatever you want. Who cares anyway? He offered to help on his own. That means that he's perfectly okay with it, right? Or maybe he did that out of consideration or pity because no one was able to help me. Haru sighs deeply. She seems rather annoyed. Just go with him already. Uh, are you angry or something? I'm not. But you kind of seem upset. You know what? I'm going to pick out this phone with you after all. What? Why? Be quiet and don't ask. Interesting. Oh, you guys coming this way. I'm leaving. See you. Aww. So precious. 